Hello, my name is Trace Kelly and I'm an Education Officer with the National Parks and Wildlife Service. Today we are in Clara Bog Visitor Centre, which is also an accredited Discover Primary Science and Maths Centre. Clara Bog is considered a very special place. It's a nature reserve, okay? In the exhibition space, uh, the children are introduced to how the bogs were formed from the end of the last great glaciation in Ireland. We can see we have a shallow lake here, and the bogs grew, the raised bogs grew out of those shallow lakes. There's different types of bogs. There's raised bog, lowland bog, and blanket bog. Yeah. Clara um, is a raised bog. Clara is a raised bog. And just like in the movie Ice Age, it was Ireland was just all covered in ice. And then after the climate started to get hotter, the ice all melted. And that started off as a lake, but then the lake transformed into bog and then it kind of like turned into everything we have now. We also talk about the conservation of Clara Bog as a raised bog, why it is conserved, uh, why it's considered important. We take a look at the different types of history or the archaeology of the bog. So this includes having a look at a model of a bog body. They say that they found them at the bottom of Croton Hill and it was just the top part of them, like from his torso up. He was wearing jewellery and yeah. I, th I think he was part of a tribe. Yeah, see they say that if you had wore jewellery in the tribes that you were extremely important. We talk about the special biodiversity that exists in a raised bog, some of the insects that you may find living there, such as dragonflies. We spend some time talking about the mammals that you may find in Clara Bog, so they can include the otter, the Irish hare. We also have a look at some of the special birds that live up there, such as the snipe and the curlew. The children then are split into teams and they do a team activity and this involves some map reading skills. They have a map of the visitor centre. They must go to certain points on the map and they must find answers to questions on their question sheet. It was 12 questions, I think it was. Yeah. We had to answer all them questions and find like the, if this type of rare butterfly. It's active learning and they find out these answers themselves and learn about the bog in the process. children then conduct two Discover Primary Science and Maths activities. The sphagnum moss is said to hold up to 20 times its own weight in water, so the children carry out an investigation to test this theory. We weighed the sphagnum moss when it was dry and then we then we weighed it when it was wet and then we added up our total. Scientists, they um, do the experiment several times to make sure they got it right in case they did anything wrong. The children then demonstrate surface tension by floating paper clips in bowls of water. Afterwards then we do a tour around Clara Bog itself and this is where the learning is reinforced in the outdoor classroom. She told us all about the sphagnum moss and how it's like a sponge and she told us that the sphagnum moss um, dies and it turns into peat, which makes the bog. So they had the opportunity to see it alive, growing on the bog surface, and they also had the opportunity to see it when it starts to rot away and slowly turn into the peat. So it was important that they were able to see this process in action. Uh, they also spent time using uh, simple insect keys and plant keys to identify out some of the species that we'll see on the day. Raft spiders and water striders. Uh, they also spent time using uh, simple insect keys and plant keys to identify out some of the species that we'll see on the day. We found, found the, 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 the great diving, swimmer, the great the, diving yeah. beetle. We found the great diving I think we found the wriggling beetle as well. The world gig? World gig, why am I calling it regularly? Yeah, the I world gig. Know. We found the back swimmer. I extremely like the back swimmer. And the raft spider as well. That's the one that uses the surface tension to kind of skid across the water. We looked at all the plants in the bog and we found this 
purple it was plant. A purple it was plant, but it's called something yeah. like the devil. It's something to do with the devil. Oh, she said that there's all stories that the devil used to use it, like to kind of torture and, people. And a very rare type of butterfly. Like the devil's bit scabious. This is a very important plant grown in Clarabog and grown in any habitat because it is the food plant for the protected marsh fritillary butterfly for its caterpillar. Recommend a visit to Clara 100%, yeah. 100%, yeah. 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 So to book a Discover Primary Science and Maths tour in Clara Bog Visitor Centre, you can telephone the education officers here at 05793 68878.